The Ashland Emergency Food Bank. It isn't just for emergencies anymore, so they are changing their name to the Ashland Community Food Bank. But that's all they're changing. Oh, I mean, the logo has to change, sure, from AEFB to ACFB. Throw in a little orange while we're at it, but that's all. Nothing else is, well, okay. Well, the web address does have to change, duh. Uh, AshlandEFB.org is now AshlandCFB.org, right? And that's just obviously going to happen. That's it. That, well, okay, email address is now info at AshlandCFB.org. AEFB is now ACFB. There's a cool new logo and a new web address, but that's all that's changed. That's, that's right, right? Is that all that's changed? Yes. Confirmation. That is all that's changed. What hasn't changed? I'm glad you asked. For 50 years, the Ashland Emergency Food Bank has collected and provided food for the needy. The Ashland Community Food Bank is still in this building across the freeway, 560 Clover Lane. If you have an Ashland or town ID or other proof you live in town, you can come in Monday through Friday from 9.30 to 12.30 and pick up all the food your family needs for three days, twice a month. And starting in November, the ACFB is going to be open the third Saturday of every month from 9.30 to 12.30. Dry goods, canned goods, produce, frozen meat, pre-packaged meals, everything. If you are looking for a way to help out those in need, make your first stop the Ashland CFB website. Loads of information about how you can donate money, donate food, or join the Green Bag Project. If you think you'd like to volunteer to stock shelves or assist new clients or create meal packages, you can start right here at the Ashland Community Food Bank website Click the Take Action button at the top, and you can read more and find a phone number and email address on this page right here. Or come by the building, 560 Clover Lane, Monday through Friday from 9.30 to 12.30, and somebody will happily show you the many opportunities. Volunteering here at the Ashton Community Food Bank is still immensely rewarding, but don't take my word for it. Listen to these volunteers. Uh, my name is John Waller. Um, I've been here just shy of two years, I believe. My name is Leanne Krieger, and I've been volunteering here at the uh, food bank for almost 12 years since I moved to Ashland. Our volunteer group is the most beautiful group of people. They yeah. are fun, they are heartfelt, they are compassionate, they are hardworking, they're collaborative, they're cooperative, generous. They, are, they just brighten my day every single day beautiful group of people. If you want to get involved with a beautiful group of people, volunteer with us. Yes, I think that <laughs> this is a situation where you can get immediate gratification. You give people a grocery basket full of food, they're happy, and they thank you, and it's immediate gratification. It feels right. nice. We treat people as individuals. We give people so much choice. We try to meet their dietary needs, whether they are a diabetic or a vegetarian or they need gluten-free food. All right, Jerry, how long have you been doing this? It'll be 12 years next month. Oh, nice. And you love it, I obviously. That's why I come back. 12 me? years? <laughs> yeah, fantastic. What's the best thing? Uh, the people. Oh, it is so much fun here. I've made so many good friends and I feel like I'm contributing to the, um, to the city and uh, it's a lot of fun. We do good. <laughs> there you go. The Ashland Community Food Bank also distributes food to local Ashland food pantries, like the Senior Center, the Library, the First Presbyterian Church, the Peace House, Uncle Food's Diner, and more. I hear there are a couple new programs as well. Uh, we provide food to the high school. They have a, a they have a, kids who are experiencing food insecurity um, can receive some food at the schools. Uh, this year, we're going to participate with Rotary's uh, and Access's backpack program, where we um, supply food for 75 backpacks to go home with kids every week. And we're gonna we're just about to engage with SOU's pantry and oh. start supplying SOU's pantry. 
And why is the ACFB still a low barrier organization? If we were receiving government funding, people would have to prove need at our door. We would much prefer to be a low barrier organization where um, we recognize it's hard enough for people to come to our front door. It's stressful enough, it's humbling enough to come to our front door and to then put people through a lot of hoops to be able to receive service feels yeah. disrespectful and, and, and unnecessary. And of course the ACFB is gonna continue working with the Food Angels and the Food Project. We would not be able to provide the service we do without those two organizations, and they are completely separate nonprofits from us. Uh, Food Angels is a volunteer organization, nonprofit that goes and picks up um, food from our local grocers that is short dated or outdated, and we call through that and we identify what's still safe to eat and get it out to our clients through the free table. Ashland Food Project. Um, is the Green Bag program. So Green Bag and Ashland Food Project are the same, same thing, same entity. So every other month essentially, um, we receive food through the Green Bag program, usually around 25 to 30,000 pounds of food over the course of just three hours. As you can see, the Ashland Emergency Food Bank is probably the best thing in Ashland. If you know someone who could use their services, definitely refer them to the website www.ashlandcfb.org or this video and if you have some extra time or money or cans of tuna give them to this organization the Ashland Community Food Bank while we can't thank everyone who contributed money time and their hearts to this mission over the past 50 years it is comforting to know that as long as there is a need the ACFB will continue its service thank you to the Ashland Community Food Bank and thank you to the entire community of Ashland